When autumn and winter arrive, we receive many reports that it's cold and drafty in some apartments. However, there are several things that you can do to improve your indoor temperature of your recommendation. We both need and want to make sure that you feel good in your home. Before you contact your caretaker or report a fault, feel free to look here at some solutions that tend to help most people who experience a cold apartment. The indoor temperature of your apartment should be about 20 degrees, which is just enough to make you feel comfortable and for us to keep our own and the world's environmental goals while adhering to the laws of Sweden. Think of how you furnish your room. The thermostatic valve ensures that the right amount of water is released forward in relation to the temperature within the room. For this to work well, there needs to be good air circulation around the thermostatic valve. Heat is spread out into the apartment through hot water circulating in the radiators. If you have large furniture in front of the radiator or pillows and blankets lying on top, they will both prevent the rising warm airstream. So make sure not to hang long curtains in front of your radiators and thermostatic valves and do not block your radiators with large furniture such as a sofa or desk. Heating requires a lot of energy. More than half of your total energy consumption is purely to keep your apartment warm. Heating is a large and important issue in our environmental work. We understand and respect if your apartment feels cold and drafty, but to raise the temperature above 20 degrees is not a sustainable solution. If the indoor temperature rises by one degree, it increases overall energy consumption by 5%. One degree makes a big difference in energy consumption and how we affect our environment. Do not use an extra radiator or heater since they may interfere with the heating system in the house and they consume a lot of electricity. When you open your windows to air out your apartment, open them fully and only for a short time and close the thermostat on your radiator. If the radiators feel cold, it's usually because the radiators won't start heating until the internal room temperature is less than 20 degrees. Ventilation vents can look a little different depending on the type of your apartment. Fresh air usually comes through the vents on the outer wall, window or behind your radiator. Do not cover or close your ventilation hatches or valves. You need to get some fresh air in your apartment. If you feel a draft from the ventilation in your apartment, you will feel much better and warmer if you avoid sitting close to the vent. So remember to furnish your apartment right. Make sure your curtains are not covering the radiators and thermostatic valve. Remove all pillows and blankets lying on top of the radiators. And do not block your radiators with large furniture such as a sofa or desk. When you tried our tips and still feel that your home is cold, you are of course welcome to contact your caretaker. We hope that you are together with us and want to do your bit to reduce any environmental impact. An easy way to save a little extra energy is to lower the temperature of the radiators when you go away. It's also a good thing to lower the blinds during cold nights and weekends when you're not home. Together we can save energy and by conserving our resources we are helping to take care of the environment.